Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Anaconda Python distribution on your Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, what is Anaconda? So Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of Python and R programming languages for data science and machine learning related applications. In addition, Anaconda comes with various tools such as Jupyter Notebook, Spider IDE and various other tools which can be used by beginners also to learn Python. So let's see how we can install Anaconda distribution first of all. So first of all open your favorite browser and search for Anaconda Python and the first link which will appear here will be from anaconda.com so I'm going to click on this link and once you click on this link straight away you will see this download button on the main page itself. So I'm going to click on this download button and when I click on this download button it's going to start the download of this Anaconda exe file. It's around 594 megabyte file at the time of making this video. I have already downloaded this file so I'm going to cancel this download and I'm going to directly go to my downloads uh, folder. So let me go to my downloads folder and here is this file. It says Anaconda 3 and I have downloaded the Windows exe file. Once this file is downloaded, just click on this file and let me minimize this folder explorer here. And now you can see it has started the Anaconda setup wizard. On this first window, just click on next here. And on the next window, you can read all the license terms and conditions. And if you agree with them, click on I agree. Now on this next window, you can uh, choose install for I'm going to choose all users here and then click on next which is going to show you this kind of uh, window which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device I will say yes and now we can see the next window so this will be the default location where your anaconda distribution will be installed you can change this location also but I'm going to leave it as default and then click on next and then on the next window you can see advanced installation options. As you can see one option is already checked which is register Anaconda 3 as the system Python 3.9. You also have this checkbox which is add Anaconda to the system path variables. Also you can see it's not recommended so I'm going to just leave this window as it is and then click on next which is going to start the installation of Anaconda on your Windows 11 operating system. If you want to see the details about your installation you can click on show details and you can see what are the files which are extracted and installed here. Now after some time you can see uh, this completed message that means the installation is complete for Anaconda so I'm going to click on the next window and then I'm going to click once again on the next button and here it says completing Anaconda 3 and you have these two uh, checkboxes Anaconda distribution tutorial and getting started with Anaconda so if you want to learn more about Anaconda and if you want to uh, see uh, the documentation of Anaconda you can leave these two checkboxes as checked otherwise you can also uncheck them and then click on finish so I'm going to uncheck both of them and then click on finish here and once the installation of Anaconda distribution is done you can click on this window start uh, icon here and then you can click on all apps and then you will be able to see all the Anaconda related tools under Anaconda 3 here. So I'm going to just expand this. You can see uh, these tools under uh, Anaconda. You have Anaconda Navigator. Then you have Anaconda Prompt. You have Jupyter Notebook. Also you have Spider IDE. We will talk about uh, all these tools. Let's start with the Anaconda Prompt. So I'm going to click on the Anaconda Prompt here which is going to open this kind of prompt. If you want to uh, increase the font size or uh, change some properties, you can click on uh, the properties option here. And then I'm going to go to the font and then click on uh, let's say 20, which is going to increase this font a little and then click on OK and then click on OK. And here, let's first try to check the version of Python we have installed 
with Anaconda. So the command will be the same as Python uh, version prompt when you install Python using python.org. So I'm going to just type Python space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter which is going to give me uh, the version of Python here which is Python 3.9.12 at the time of making this video. Also you can check the version of Conda which is installed with your Anaconda distribution. So for that you can just write Conda and then space info and then press enter which is going to give you uh, the version of Conda. At the time of making this video the Conda version is 4.12.0. Now you might be asking what is Conda? So Conda is an open source cross-platform language agnostic package management and environment management system which is similar to PIP, right? So for example, if you want to install any uh, package using PIP, you give PIP install and the name of the package. You use the Conda uh, in the same way. You can just write uh, Conda here and then install and then for example you want to install numpy just write numpy here and then uh, it's going to install numpy package using conda package manager now let's say you want to uh, start jupyter notebook using this command prompt right so you can just type uh, jupyter notebook here and then press enter and once you press enter it's going to start the jupyter notebook on your default browser. You can also choose the browser on which you want to open Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to choose Chrome browser for now. And then I'm going to choose always use this app to open uh, .html files. I'm going to click on OK. And it's going to uh, start this Jupyter Notebook server. Uh, and you can see uh, this server is started at localhost uh, colon 8888. So on this first window, you will be able to see that it's going to show you your folder structure. So from here, you can uh, navigate to the folder where you want to create your uh, Jupyter project. So let's say I want to create my project in uh, my desktop folder. I'm going to choose the desktop folder here. And then let's say I want to create a new folder here. So I can create a new folder by clicking on new here and then click on uh, folder you can see uh, this folder is created with uh, the name untitled folder you can check this uh, checkbox in front of untitled folder and then rename it by clicking on rename button let's say i want to name my uh, folder as python i can just give the name and then click on rename which is going to rename this uh, uh, folder right i will go inside this python folder and then once again, I'm going to click on new and this time I'm going to click on Python 3 here, which is going to open this uh, Jupyter command shell, right? As you can see right now, it's untitled. We are going to change the name a little bit later. And here you can uh, give some uh, Python commands to evaluate them. So it will work similar to your Python REPL. For example, I can write 5 plus 5, but when you press enter, it's going to just give you the next line. So in order to execute this uh, line, you need to press shift enter and not uh, just enter, right? So just press shift and then press enter and it's going to show you the result, okay? Once again, I'm going to uh, give some uh, math command here. Once again, I can press shift enter and only then you will be able to see the result of that expression, right? If you want to give multiple line uh, command, for example, x is equal to, let's say, 6, and then you want to multiply, uh, let's say, x by, once again, 6, and then you want to uh, give one more command. For that, you can use enter, but if you want to execute, as I said, you need to choose uh, the shift and then enter key. So I'm going to just press backspace here and then shift enter and it's going to evaluate that uh, Python code and then give you the result, right? Now how to save this file? So you can see right now it's untitled. I can click on this and then give any name 
to my file so let's say i'm going to name my file as uh, test for example so just give the name and then click on uh, rename here and then my jupyter notebook file name has been changed to test here so once you have saved the file you can navigate to the folder where you have uh, created this file i have created this file inside my python folder so i can open the python and you can see there is this test.ipynb file. So I can once again open this file by clicking on uh, this file and then choosing my browser on which uh, I want to open this file, right? So this is how you can uh, start and use Jupyter Notebook using Anaconda prompt. Let me also uh, show you how you can uh, open the spider uh, IDE using Anaconda prompt. So once again, I can uh, just search for uh, this anaconda prompt which is here. I am going to open this anaconda prompt and to start spider you just need to give this command. Just type start and then space and then just type uh, spyder spider. Start spider which is the command and then press enter. It's going to open the spider IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So you can see this spider IDE has been started now. Here also you can create your uh, Python files and then execute your Python files or individual uh, commands uh, using this uh, spider IDE. For example, you can just uh, type uh, print here and then uh, in the parentheses uh, under the double quotes, you can type something, for example, hello uh, world here and then you can execute this file by pressing on this uh, green button and then click on run and you can see it prints hello world you can also see the location where uh, this file is saved right now it's saved under c user and then your username and then there will be dot spider hyphen py3 uh, folder by default and then there is this temp.py file which is created you can also create any folder uh, wherever you want in your file system using uh, this file and then and then you can uh, choose your folder in which you want to create your project right now one last thing i want to show you and that is the anaconda navigator so once again i'm going to go to my windows start button and then click on all apps here under anaconda I can see Anaconda Navigator, right? So click on the Anaconda Navigator here and it's going to open the Anaconda Navigator. You will also see some command prompt. So you can see now this Anaconda Navigator has been started. So here you will be able to see the list of uh, some apps. So some apps are pre-installed, some apps you can install uh, them. So the apps which are installed, you will see uh, the launch button um, in front of them right so i have this cmd.exe prompt i have this data lower uh, data analysis uh, tool i have ibm watson uh, studio cloud jupyter lab then i have uh, this jupyter notebook powershell prompt and i have this spider and, and qt console which are pre-installed i can also install gluviz or the Orange Tree or PyCharm Professional, R Studio, and other tools using this uh, Anaconda Navigator from here. You can also see the list of environments here in the Environments tab. And you can also learn more about different Python related tools here. You can see Python Tutorial, Anaconda, Panda, NumPy. So all these uh, tutorials are uh, listed here which you can uh, read and uh, learn from them right so this is how you can download and install anaconda distribution on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video